Hello, we're going to do a little video on the RCBS powder scale, the digital one. I got it set up right now for 26.5 charge and it already dispensed it. So we'll take that, dump it into our beam scale. We'll let that dispense another. It comes on pretty quick. It'll slow down, start trickling out. It'll beep when it goes off. And that's a load count. And then it says it's it's stable right there. So it's 26.5. And we got ours on the beam scale, and as you can see, it's dead on. I got it at 26.5. Take this and dump this back. As soon as you set it back on, it'll start to dispense another load for you, unless you cancel it out. I already loaded some on her, that's why the count is so high, but it's 26.5 again. We can take off our beam scale. Dump that on there. And that's going to charge another load. But as you can see, it's dead on again. It's very, very accurate. And if you're doing just a few loads, your regular beam scale is good, really good, accurate. But if you're going to do a lot of loads, this RCBS, it does the job for you. 26.5 again. If it goes over, it'll have over right next to the stable. Or if it goes under the weight, it'll tell you. And I've had it to where it's gone over and under a little bit. But then you can dump that out. And the way you set these machines up when you when you first start, just take the cup off. You hit the on button. You hit calibrate. Hit calibrate again. And then it'll ask for a 50 weight. You grab a 50 weight right there. Set it up here. Hit calibrate. It'll go to 50. Then after it calibrates out, it'll say 100. You grab the 100, the other 50 weight and put it on, which will be 100. Hit calibrate again. It'll come up 100. Take both weights out. And then set your tray back on. And then hit zero, and it's ready to work. But right now, we'll cancel out on the one we were doing. We'll set this on. We'll do a little bit bigger charge. We'll do a 30 out 6 charge at 49.5, and then you hit dispense. And this, and this is this is Varget that I'm using here. I got a little error over there, so we'll have to cancel out again. Let's set this on here and cancel. Okay, and then go. 49.5 49.5 hit dispense it's dispensing out it's dispensing out a bigger load than the 223 that I was dispensing earlier that was a 223 load this is a 30 out 6 start to trickle really slow out of there until it gets right on. 
can see it's got one count, that's one charge, 49.5, it's stable. So we'll take that charge out of there. And we'll set up our scale. At 40, 9, and that's at 5. 49.5 right there. And as you can see, it's right on again. And it's at 49.5. And it's dispensing another one. Every once in a while you can check it on your beam scale. But this RCBS has been very, very consistent, and if you're loading a lot of loads, this is the only way to go. If you're trying to load with a beam scale, it's going to take you four times longer to do that. By the time you can get a bullet, one filled, and you can put the bullet in and crimp it, you have already got another one dispensed. Okay, 49.5. Second, that's the second load dispensed, 49.5. RCBS works great even if you want to do really small loads on here we'll cancel out say if we want to do 1.5 grains that's very very small load dispense see how slow it's coming out right now barely trickling Starts out really slow. One count of 1.5. That is very, very light powder. You can dump that back in. Set that back on. It'll zero out. And then it'll start to dispense. second charge 1.5 and this has memory in it too to where you can set up 30 different memories on here for different charges so then you could just hit your memory and then if you need to trickle in a little bit of powder you could trickle powder in works really great RCBS give it a try if you're doing a lot of ammo out there have a good day thanks